तो दोस्तों इस वीडियो में हम लोग ये प्रॉब्लम सॉल्व करेंगे क्लोज्ड ऑर्गन पाइप ऑफ लेंथ एल सो देर आर टू पाइप्स क्लोज्ड एंड ओपन ऑर्गन पाइप्स यू कैन सी हियर सो क्लोज्ड ऑर्गन पाइप हैज लेंथ एल एल एंड द ओपन ऑर्गन पाइप कंटेन द गैसेस ऑफ डेंसिटीज रो वन एंड रो टू सो दे देर इज अ गैस इन दिस पाइप्स and that gas density is given as rho1 and rho2 so in the closed organ pipe it is rho1 in the open pipe it is rho2 the compressibilities are equal in both the pipes both pipes are vibrating in their first overtone with the same frequency the length of the open organ pipe is so length of the closed pipe is given we have to calculate length of the open pipe let us say it is l2 so for the closed pipe and no open pipe for the first overtone we have got a formula okay and you should know this formula if you don't know this formula then you will not be able to solve this problem so for the closed pipe the formula is this one frequency of the first overtone in the closed pipe is given by l into phi1 divided by 4l1 where phi1 is the velocity in this medium okay so this this particular pipe is filled with the gas so the velocity of that sound in that particular medium or the gas that is phi1 let us say phi1 divided by 4l1 where l1 is the length of that particular pipe so it is given as l but we are taking l1 here and what they are saying is this frequency is, is equal to the first overtone frequency of the open pipe as well and first overtone first overtone frequency of the open pipe is given by this formula 2 into v divided by 2l here let us take the velocity as v2 length of that pipe is let's say l2 this is what we have to calculate and what they are saying is that this frequencies are equal that means we can equate these two equations so now we can easily calculate l2 so l2 is equal to so if we rearrange these terms it will be equal to phi2 into l1 divided by phi1 into 4 divided by 3 so we can say l2 is equal to phi2 divided by phi1 okay and l into 4 divided by 3 because l1 and l are same so this is the l2 but now we have to get rid of this phi2 by phi1 okay because if you look at these options there is no v2 and v1 involved there so we will have to get rid of v2 divided by v1 we know that velocity of the sound in the medium is given by this formula under root of b divided by rho where b is the bulk modulus which tells about the compressibility and rho is the density of the medium and in the question itself they have given that compressibility is same so we can say b is same and when b is same what we can do is we can have this formula phi2 divided by phi1 is equal to rho1 divided by rho2 because phi is directly proportional to under root of rho and that is why phi2 divided by phi1 is equal to under root of rho1 divided by rho2 so we can put this value in the above equation and then we will get l2 as 4l divided by 3 under root of rho1 divided by rho2 so the option correct option will be this one third one thank you for watching